Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to evaluate slope on land. Slope is a key factor in what changes the price of land. And when comping out land, it's very important to understand the slope. If you're choosing on picking a piece of land or if it's the right piece of land, analyzing the slope correctly, seeing if it is buildable is very, very important. In this video, we are gonna use two different tools to analyze slope. The first one is ID.land, which I have shown you guys in the past in other videos. And the second one is Google Earth, showing you how to evaluate slope on Google Earth. So let's get to it. So here I'm on ID.land and we're gonna create a new map and we're just gonna to go to a more sloped area. Let's just go to West Virginia. Let's go to West Virginia, find a piece of land that has a decent amount of slope and then we can I can show you the different ways to evaluate it. So you see West Virginia here, and I'm gonna go here and hit county lines, and you can see in states pretty easily what's sloped, what's not sloped by how dark it is. So if you look over in Ohio, where you're getting into farmland, it looks a lot different than West Virginia does. This looks like a mountainous region. We wanna find a parcel that is somewhat sloped. So let's zoom in here, and I'm just gonna look through real fast at some sloped parcels and see what we can do. So I'm gonna hit contour lines, and this is the main key on ID.land to look at slope. We see one right here, which I kinda of like, which I'm thinking about using. We see one here. I wanna make sure we're on somewhat of a main road so we can get street view on Google Earth as well. So let's keep looking around, and I'm just looking for a parcel with a decent amount of slope where we can review that slope in a few different ways. So let's go with this one. This one appears to have pretty drastic slope based on this. So the first tool that I use, and I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna convert this so you guys can see the outlines of what I am looking at. So the first key when looking at slope, the first thing I use is contour lines. And that is right here on ID.land. I use the contour lines, and that helps me see how many feet above sea level the land is. So you can see right here, 1100 feet above sea level, 1120, 1140, and I'll zoom in a little more so it's a little easier for you guys to see, 1160, 1180. So all these lines are 20 feet of slope. Now that's pretty severe. What you can do is go over to the tools and you can start down here. So I'm gonna start at 1080 and I'm just gonna go up, um, let's just go up all the way to 1180. And what I'm doing here is seeing how, what the percentage of slope according to these lines are. So this is, and what we can see here, this is a 330 foot line and we have 100 feet of slope. We're going from 1080 to 1180. So if you pull out your calculator and it goes 100 feet up over 300 feet long, 330 feet long, that is about a 30% slope. That is pretty severe based on this. Like I said, we're going to review going over slope in a couple different ways to confirm. Because when you're looking at this, if you have a great deal, it looks like buy for $30,000, sell for $100,000. You do not just want to throw this deal away just because one platform says it's sloped. There are times when ID.land is not accurate. So you want to double check in multiple ways. So that is contour lines. The second way on ID.land, it's in the bottom right corner where you see 3D. So I'm gonna hit 3D and you're gonna see here how drastic this slope is. What the 3D does is takes the contour lines and it makes slope based on that. So you guys can see here, it does look, the interesting thing here, it does look like there might be a flat spot at the front. We're in West Virginia, a lot of things are built on hills. This right here, based on what this looks like, this is not gonna be buildable. You can see how mountainous this area is, how hilly this area is. Now there's a chance, there's a chance you could have some buildable spot at the front of this property. Okay, so now we're gonna get this to Google Earth. So I'm gonna take off this 3D and I'm going to exit out of here. So based on ID.land, the front looks like it has put some building potential, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure we're gonna review that on Google Earth. And the last thing is you might need to get someone, a drone photographer or someone out there to see the land in person. You do not want to throw a deal out just because one thing. So what you're going to do, you're going to hit save as. I'm just going to name my map. I'm just going to name it YouTube slope video. So you need to save this. And now you're going to go to the ID.land homepage. And once you have it saved, you're going to go to my maps up here. 
So I'm gonna sort this by last updated and you can see YouTube slow video right here and you're gonna download KML. That is going to bring that outline onto Google Earth so we can review the slope. So let's hit that. Okay, so now we have Google Earth up and you can see just from looking at this first picture how drastic this slope looks in the middle. Like it almost looks 3D on there, how drastic it goes from right here to right here. You can see how severe that slope is. So there are two ways to evaluate slope on Google Earth. You can get on Street View and look at the land and you can also use their slope tool. Let's first go on Street View and see what the land looks like. So this is an actual Google car that goes by, takes uh, the Street View. A lot of you have probably used this. Sometimes it's not gonna be very usable. And this might be one of those times because we just can't see what's really behind the trees. You do see the trees going up quite a bit. This is, this is I, I, can't just, I can't see what's going on through here. So it's probably not going to help me that much and evaluate the slope on this street view. So let's exit out here and let's fix up our map a little bit so we can see a little better. And I'm gonna zoom out so we can see our land just a little better like this. I'm gonna zoom back in. And what we are gonna do now is use their slope tool. So up here, you can see this little ruler. So you're gonna hit this and then you're gonna hit path and then you're gonna hit show elevation profile. So what I'm gonna do, I'm very curious, this is not going to be buildable. So if I go from here to let's say here, this is the elevation profile. This is way too severe. This goes from 1176 to 1195 very fast. This is like 30% slope like we were talking about. This front area is what I'm very curious about. So I'm gonna hit clear and draw another line. I wanna see what this is like. So from right here to from to here, how severe is this slope? You can see it is not as bad. So we have, we start at 1083. Let me zoom in a little bit. So right here, we start at 1084 above sea level and we go to 1095 after 50 feet. That's still about a 24% slope. Then we have 1095 we're going from to 1104. So that is only about an 18% slope. I think this region right here is where you have a chance to build on. Once you get past this part, your slope is gonna be too severe. You're gonna be close to that 30% slope again. So that is where you'll kind of stay away from. But overall, my guess is you will have some buildable spots on this land in the first 100 or 200 feet. So you can see right here, this is zero feet and this is 200. I'm guessing right around this area, between 50 to 100 feet off of where that land starts is where you might have a flat spot. So this is just front to back. You can also do this same thing if you have left to right slope. So I'm gonna start here to here and you can see this is pretty flat. Then it does go up a little bit, but overall left to right, I mean, you can see 1101 feet above sea level all the way to 1110 right here. This is after 200 feet, three or 4% slope left to right isn't going to be an issue. It's that front to back that you really need to analyze. So after reviewing that land, I think there's potential there. If you just look at it at ID.land, you probably are gonna say no to the deal. What I would do if I had a deal like this is send someone out there, boots on the ground, send a drone photographer, send a realtor out there to get their thoughts, to see if it's buildable at the front. And that is how you evaluate slope. It's such a key in determining whether you're going to buy a piece of land. Like I said, this could be a $20,000, $30,000 profit deal if you get it at the right price. And people will buy this land if it's buildable at the front and they'll use the back half as rec. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button below. If you guys have any other additional videos you want me to make about land investing, about evaluating deals, anything like that, please put it in the comments and I'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.